a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Donna Brazile Donna Lise Brazile is an American political strategist, campaign manager, political analyst, and author. She is a member of the Democratic Party. Briefly serving as the interim chairperson for the Democratic National Committee in spring 2011, and assumed that role again in July 2016. Until February 2017, she was the first African-American woman to direct a major presidential campaign, acting as campaign manager for Al Gore in 2000. She has also worked on several presidential campaigns for Democratic candidates, including Jesse Jackson and Walter Mondale Geraldine Ferraro in 1984, and for Dick Gephardt in the 1988 Democratic primary. Early Life Brazile was born in New Orleans, Louisiana, the daughter of Jean Marie and Lionel Joseph Brazile, the third of nine children. Her family's surname was Braswell, several generations back. Brazile became interested in politics at the age of nine when a local candidate for office promised to build a neighborhood playground. She participated in a trio upward bound program while in high school. Brazile earned a bachelor's degree in industrial psychology from Louisiana State University in 1981, and was a fellow at the Institute of Politics at Harvard University's John F. Kennedy School of Government. After graduating from LSU, Brazile worked for several advocacy groups in Washington. DC and was allegedly instrumental in the successful campaign to make Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday a federal holiday. Brazile volunteered for the Jimmy Carter Walter Mondale presidential campaigns in 1976 and 1980 as a teenager. Political Strategist Brazile has worked on several presidential campaigns for Democratic candidates, including Jesse Jackson in 1984. Walter Mondale Geraldine Ferraro in 1984, and Dick Gephardt in the 1988 Democratic primary. After Gephardt lost the primary in 1988, Brazile served as deputy field director of the Michael Dukakis general election campaign. On October 20, 1988, she made headlines by telling a group of reporters that George H. W. Bush needed to fess up about unsubstantiated rumors of an extramarital affair, said Brazile. The American people have every right to know if Barbara Bush will share that bed with him in the White House. The Dukakis campaign immediately disavowed her remarks and Dukakis fired her from his campaign staff shortly after the story broke. Four years later, the same issue, the relationship of George H. W. Bush and Jennifer Fitzgerald, would be briefly rehashed. During the 1992 campaign against Bill Clinton, who had his own extramarital affair rumors, in the 1990s, Brazile served as Chief of Staff and Press Secretary to Congressional Delegate Eleanor Holmes Norton of the District of Columbia, where she helped guide the district's budget and local legislation on Capitol Hill. She also served as an advisor for Bill Clinton's campaign for the presidency in 1992 and for re-election in 1996. In 1999, Brazile was appointed deputy campaign manager and was later promoted to campaign manager of the 2000 presidential campaign of Vice President Al Gore, becoming the first African-American woman to manage a major party presidential campaign. After the Hurricane Katrina disaster, Brazile was appointed as a member of the board of directors of the Louisiana Recovery Authority by Kathleen Blanco from 2005 to 2009. Brazile donated her papers to the Louisiana and Lower Mississippi Valley Collections in the Louisiana State University Library's Special Collections, located in Hill Memorial Library. Democratic National Committee Service after the post-election fight over votes in the 2000 United States presidential election in Florida, Brazile was appointed chair of the Democratic National Committee's Voting Rights Institute. 2008 Presidential Election In the 2008 election, she served as a superdelegate for her work for Bill Clinton and Al Gore. As a delegate for the Democratic National Convention, Brazile consistently refrained from declaring her preferred Democratic presidential candidate. In an interview with political satirist Stephen Colbert, Brazile stated, Look, I'm a woman, so I like Hillary. I'm black. I like Obama. But I'm also grumpy, so I like John McCain. The 2008 Democratic presidential primaries in Florida and Michigan initially caused the delegates from these two states to be disqualified from being seated at the Democratic convention due to the states moving their primaries against NC party rules. 
Brazal stated, We need to send a message that you can't defy the rules, adding, I have pissed off just about every state in my career. At the Rules Committee meeting to decide on the final allocations for these states she was quoted, My mama taught me to play by the rules and respect those rules. My mother taught me. And I'm sure your mother taught you, that when you decide to change the rules, middle of the game, end of the game, that is referred to as cheating. She was strongly critical of the Stupak Pitts Amendment, which places limits on taxpayer-funded abortions in the context of the November 2009 Affordable Health Care for America Act. 2012 Presidential Election For several weeks in the spring of 2011, she served as interim chair of the Democratic National Committee. As vice chair of the DNC, she led the organization during the transition between outgoing Chair Tim Kaine, who resigned to run for the U.S. Senate, and his successor, Florida Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who was not permitted to ascend to the post until at least 15 days after being nominated on April 5, 2011. Following Wasserman Schultz's installation as DNC chair, Brazil returned to her post as vice chair. 2016 Presidential Election after Debbie Wasserman Schultz resigned her position as chairperson of the Democratic National Committee on July 24, 2016. At the start of the 2016 Democratic National Convention, Brazil became interim chairperson of the DNC. 73. At the 2016 Democratic Convention, Lucy Spiegel assisted Brazil in writing her convention speech and choosing Brazil's wardrobe. Brazil was responsible for a plan to spend money to drive up in a city turnout in places like Chicago and New Orleans, even though neither Illinois nor Louisiana was remotely competitive dash, because of fear that Clinton would win the Electoral College vote, but lose the popular vote. Sharing debate questions with Clinton campaign A WikiLeaks email dump revealed that Brazil sent an email message on March 5, 2016, to John Podesta and Jennifer Palmieri with the title. One of the questions directed to HRC tomorrow is from a woman with a rash. The message continued, her family has lead poison. And she will ask what, if anything, will Hillary do as president to help the people of Flint? At the next event in Flint, Clinton was delivered a similar question from audience member Mickey Wade, whose family was affected by the poisoned water. On October 11, 2016, a WikiLeaks email dump included an email Brazil sent on March 12 to Clinton Communications Director Jennifer Palmieri with the subject header. From time to time I get questions in advance. In the email, Brazil discussed her concern about Clinton's ability to field a question regarding the death penalty, and in a CNN town hall debate the following day, Clinton received a similar question about the death penalty. According to tech blog Irata Security, the email in question was verified using an everyday verification program and the DKIM system. Brazil at first vehemently denied receiving or furnishing the Clinton campaign with any town hall questions and dismissed the WikiLeaks organization as these sad ass WikiLeakers try to slow my groove. She accused TYT politics reporter Jordan Cheriton of badgering a woman. Questioned by Fox News anchor Megan Kelly, Brazil said, as a Christian woman, I understand persecution. I will not sit here and be persecuted, because your information is totally false." Jake Tupper, a former colleague of Brazilis at CNN, provided his perspective on the possibility of a leak of a question to a presidential candidate, calling it, very, very upsetting, and added that, journalistically, it's horrifying. Brazil, however, said that her conscience was, very clear. She later commented, if I had to do it all over again, I would know a hell of a lot more about cybersecurity. In a talk at the College of Journalism and Mass Communications on the University of Nebraska-Lincoln campus on October 12, Brazil condemned the leaks, which intelligence officials said came from Russia, were to manipulate an election, disrupt or discredit or destroy our democracy, and ultimately try to produce an outcome more favorable to them and their interests, Brazil said. On October 31, 2016, the New York Times reported, CNN has severed ties with the Democratic strategist Donna Brazil, after hacked emails from WikiLeaks showed that she shared questions for CNN-sponsored candidate events in advance with friends on Hillary Clinton's campaign. CNN said it had accepted her formal resignation on October 14, adding, 
we are completely uncomfortable with what we have learned about her interactions with the Clinton campaign while she was a CNN contributor. On November 1, 2016, an internal call about the collusion was initiated by CNN President Jeff Zucker. Zucker informed his staff that, while the instances have been fully investigated and the perpetrators dealt with, the perception that campaigns could receive questions in advance hurts all of us, adding that, I have no tolerance for her behavior or that kind of behavior going on. To describe former network commentator Brazili's interactions with the Clinton campaign as unethical and disgusting. On March 17, 2017, Brazil admitted to forwarding debate questions to Clinton's campaign during the 2016 Democratic primary, while she was vice chair of the DNC and working as a CNN commentator. In an essay she wrote for Time magazine, she said, then in October, a subsequent release of emails revealed that among the many things I did in my role as a Democratic operative and DNC vice chair prior to assuming the interim DNC chair position was to share potential town hall topics with the Clinton campaign. Brazil went on to explain, My job was to make all our Democratic candidates look good, and I worked closely with both campaigns to make that happen. But sending those emails was a mistake I will forever regret. In her book Hacks, she claims that she does not remember sending any such email, doesn't believe that she would, and didn't find any such email when she searched her own files. She claims that she made admissions of guilt in order to do what was best for the campaign and to put the matter behind her. University Teaching and Affiliations Brazil served as a lecturer at the University of Maryland, College Park, a fellow at Harvard University's Institute of Politics, and is an adjunct professor of women and gender studies at Georgetown University. She is member of the advisory board of the Washington and Lee University Mock Convention. Commentator Brazil was a weekly contributor and political commentator on CNN's The Situation Room and appeared on American Morning and its successor, New Day. She regularly appeared on CNN Tonight with Don Lemon and was a frequent member of Anderson Cooper's guest panel of political experts on CNN's election night coverage. Brazil is also founder and managing director of Brazil and Associates and a contributor to NPR's Political Corner and ABC News. Brazil had agreed mutually with both CNN and ABC to suspend her contracts with the networks in order to serve as interim chair of the DNC. On October 31, 2016, CNN announced that Brazil offered a formal resignation and that they were permanently severing their ties to Brazil as a CNN contributor, due to inappropriate leaks with the Clinton campaign while she worked for the network. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries Would you like to know more?